Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by Radioactive Book. Today I'm doing another tag video because I'm trying to catch up a bit on tags. Um, I'm doing the reader problems tag. I was recently tagged by Lindsay from Lindsay Ray and I leave a link to her video as well as to the original creator about to read in the comment section. Oh no, not in the comment section, in the description box, of course, in the comment section. That, that, that's completely different, completely. So stop rambling, start with the questions. Number one is, you have 20,000 books on your TBR, how in the world do you decide what to read next? Um, that's actually my personal problem. I'm already in four figures on my TBR, so uh, I have about, I don't know, I don't know anymore. It could be 2,000 uh, books already, uh, maybe less uh, on my TBR. It's at least 1,500. So I actually have this kind of, um, of problem. And uh, there is like a many layered answer to that. So um, often I try to read a few books that are buddy reads or are group reads from a, go a Goodreads group. Um, so I have like a bit of a schedule of books which I'm uh, going to read. I'm, I'm not someone who reads like everything a Goodreads group uh, reads, but only if it's a book that's on my uh, TBR uh, already. So I, uh, I join in then if that, uh, uh, yeah, if that happens and uh, I'm signing up for a lot of buddy reads now with other booktubers so this is a, a second tool to decide what to read and then yeah normally it's um, it's just a mood thing what I actually do uh, quite often is that I um, just yeah browse through all my books and then open some of them and read like the first page and see if I'm in the mood for that and um, then put it on my TBR. So this is kind of a yeah combination of things I do to decide what to read next. Question two, you're halfway through a book and you're just not loving it. Do you quit or are you committed? Most of the time I'm committed because I, yeah, there is a reason I had this one on my TBR. I decided to read it as I have that like huge TBR. Um, there was also a reason behind why I decided to read it. So, yeah, uh, for most of the time I'm trying to pull through and hope that the book improves. But there are occasions as well where I quit. I'd say it's like a... Uh, I quit one in four of those that I don't like and try to finish the other three. Question three. The end of the year is coming and you're so close, but so far away on your Goodreads reading challenge. Do you try to catch up and how? Yes, I try to catch up. It's something I'm doing at the moment, uh, but more for another challenge because I challenged myself at the beginning of the year to finish like 12 series. And as I already uh, always started like new books um, and new series, I uh, did only finish like three series at the end of November. And so I'm trying to catch up uh, with finishing my series. And that also leads to me trying to catch up with my Goodreads goal of reading 75 books. But I'm not going to make that. I'm now between 50 and 60 and I will probably end around 55 or something like that. So, uh, so I'm not that um, committed to the actual number. I like challenging myself and I like to see like the the progress, but I'm not so committed that I have to catch up, um, if that makes any sense. Number four, the covers of the series you love do not match. How do you cope? After I finished screaming and running around my house for about three and a half days, I mostly write threatening letters to publishers and uh, yeah, threatening them with physical harm until they just match up my series. 
Yeah, you don't believe that, do you? No, I, I simply don't care. That that might be. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, uh, I'm I, I like covers, but I mostly now read um, uh, like ebooks, and then uh, the cover is not as important anymore. The height of the book doesn't play a role uh, anymore, and yeah. I can live with that. I'm more of a guy who's interested in the actual content of the book and not so much on yeah, how the book looks. If it looks nice and appealing, it's definitely a plus, but it's not something I lose sleep uh, about. Number five. Everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feelings? Um probably like you, my viewers, uh, other booktubers I I talk to. So this uh, is mainly yeah the, the forum for me to talk about books and um, but but I don't have the feeling that I need to talk about uh, a book when I don't like it and everybody likes it. I'm just like well that wasn't for me and then that's good. It's not like a heart-wrenching experience that I have to share and talk about. I'm, I'm interested in exchanging views about um, about books, but I'm uh, I'm not so desperate that I didn't love a book uh, so much as everyone else. So yeah, no. Question six is: You're reading a book and you are about to start crying in public. How do you deal? That face doesn't cry, neither in public, nor ever. No, that's of course um, not true. But uh, yeah, but um, uh, books simply don't invoke the um, um, the desire to cry for me. That never, really, never, 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 never happened for me. It happens. Uh, in uh, in movies or TV shows when it's well done for me I think it has to do a bit uh, with with uh, having like very then sentimental uh, music and if the acting is 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 really well that that can lead to having a little tear in my eye but for books it really no it, uh, books can make me laugh but never cry don't know don't know why uh, but it's just like that Question 7 is a sequel of a book you love just came out, but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel. Will you reread the book, skip the sequel, try to find a synopsis on Goodreads, cry in frustration? Oh yeah, th that would be good. That I, I cry in frustration in public about a sequel that I might not going to read because I don't remember the synopsis of the first one. That sounds really like me, so I'm going with that. Cry in frustration. Uh, no, I'm uh, trying to uh, read up a summary if it's available, or my, my new thing is uh, I let other booktubers read the first book as a buddy read and listen to their conversation on Voxer, and then uh, I'm uh, going to read the second book. That's that's a great plan to refresh your memory. Question 8. You do not want anyone, anyone, borrowing your books. How do you politely tell people nope when they ask? Um, normally that uh, is not a problem for me because the people in uh, real life, the friends I have, um, that might borrow books from me are also readers and also readers of science fiction and fantasy. And so if we borrow books from each other, we know that they are in good hands. And so I don't actually have a problem uh, borrowing books away to my friends because we are all readers. Um, and of course now with me uh, changing uh, completely to ebooks, that doesn't happen. Um, anymore because yeah I have them all on my reader and I can't lend them out. Question 9. Is reading ADD? You've picked up and put down five books in the last month. How do you get over your reading slump? 
Yeah, that doesn't happen to me as well. I, I'm not very good with these questions, I think. that I, I'm always like, nah, <laughs> stop, no. Um, yeah, so I don't have reading slumps, and normally I think... Uh, one of the main reasons I don't is that I constantly read three books at the same time. So when I finish a book, I'm mostly like one quarter through a second book and one half through a third book. So I'm already invested in new stories as well. So I don't get that reading slump where I just finish a book and stare into the void. Um, and I'm already in other books, so mostly I want to get on with them as well. Uh, so, yeah, it might lead to that I then just finish like the book I'm, I'm halfway through and did not start a third one right away. But, yeah, for most of the time that simply doesn't happen to me. Question 10. There are so many new books coming out that you're dying to read. How many do you actually buy? Honest answer, all of them. I'm just crazy like that. If I have I have this Amazon wish list um, and uh, I already know because I read like publisher catalogs and uh, and previews and I have like six pages of books that aren't already out but I want to buy uh, for example, next year, and then I simply buy them. Um, what I try lately, because I know, uh, of course, that I don't get to them right away with my huge TBR, I often then wait maybe even for the first year, because uh, when they are really expensive as an ebook, uh, maybe 12, 13 euros, because um, they are matched to uh, toward the price of the hardcover, I wait until the uh, mass market paperback or trade paperback versions come out, and then uh, most often the ebook is uh, yeah getting cheaper as well. And so if it's not like the next installment in a series I really want to read or maybe one of the top five most anticipated new uh, books uh, I, I want to read I uh, wait uh, until the book is cheaper but if the book starts out with a cheap price uh, around five six seven euros uh, I mostly just buy it right away and the final question is, after you've bought the new books you can't wait to get to, how long do they sit on your shelf before you get to them? Yeah, that depends also a lot. Uh, as, I, as I said, I have this huge TBR, so uh, I'm throwing in uh, new books as well, and most of the books uh, uh, sit there for months, years, inside the TBR abyss and then come out when a group read, buddy read uh, comes out. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, most of the books can uh, be in there for, as I said, months or years. Um, and there are only like a few of uh, really my top authors, my top series I like to uh, continue that get read right away. So it's, it's a minority. I, I would say every 30th book I buy will be actually read within the first four weeks after I pick it up. So that was the reader problems tag. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone specifically because I'm doing a lot of tags at the moment um, and I'm not sure who has done this or not. So I'm doing the, the cope out tagging with if you haven't done the tag and want to do the tag, please do. Uh, I really look forward to seeing your videos about this one. If you like mine, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, please look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye!